Hi, this is Lee and welcome to Home Screens. This is a podcast about apps and home screen setups for those of us that are interested, like myself. I'm always curious about people's setups and favourite apps. Um, this is a project that I did. It was a pandemic project, actually, that fell by the wayside for various reasons. Um, but I'm trying to get into a few more creative projects. Uh, so this is one that is always there, kind of on the back burner, ready to go. So today, for the first kind of the, this is a relaunch, I guess. I'm just going to do my setup. I do have some kind of guests lined up and I've sent some emails out. So I'm, I'm waiting for some people to get back to me. But I'm hoping that the next few episodes at least will have um, people other than me on it. That's the plan. So if we start with my device, so this is on an iPhone 15 Pro. This is my main my main device. So I'm going to start with a lock screen. So the wallpaper I'm using is from a, a little wallpaper pack that I did. It's something I'm starting to do to try and support the blog a little bit more, help pay for the hosting and, and help me get more um, things in for review. So this is just a pretty simple lock screen. You can see I have the um, Apple weather at the top, obviously the time, and then I've got Fantastical on the left, and I've got Apple Calendar on the right. Um, I use Fantastical purely for that widget that you can see on the lock screen. I don't use the app at all. I, I literally just use it for that. Um, iOS 18 doesn't have this equivalent for the Apple Calendar, so I'll carry on using it. So um, I've also got, obviously got the torch and the camera. Um, this is something that we're going to see a few changes in iOS 18 where that's going to be able to be customized. I'm currently on iOS 17, probably going to push back into 18 this week, but for the moment I'm just back on plain old 17. And that's that's fine for me to be honest at the moment. I could do with not having a lot of complication right now. So I've got a two page setup. This is the first page that you can see here. Um, I use the Apple Calendar app. Like I said, I use Fantastical purely for the widget. So I've got the Apple Calendar top left, then I've got the phone, I've got Notes, I use Apple Notes almost every day. Safari, obviously use that every day. Apple Music is my streaming service of choice. So um, my music streaming service, I, I've, so, so that's, that's there, obviously front page, because I use it a lot. Um, Pocket Casts is a recent addition. I won't go into all of the things about Overcast, which were changed. But um, generally the UI, the way it looks is I'm okay with. My issue is that downloads have become incredibly unreliable to the point that they're either really, really slow or they never download. So I switched over to Pocket Casts and I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying it. Um, I use the Apple Weather app, nothing too complicated there. Um, I use Signal. I use Signal for um, mostly people that are on Android friends that run Android, but it's it's an app that um, I've used for a long time. And then I've got the Things widget in the middle. Then I'm on Apple Photos. I use Photos for everything. Import from my camera or just general photos that I'm taking. Next one is my banking app. Next is my journal. So I'm using Apple Journal. I'm not using it every day. I'm just using it to record sort of memories of places we've been or, 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 you know, events. Next up is a little folder with some social apps. These are pretty much all I do from a social perspective. Within there, I've got Discord, I've got Glass for photos, and I've got Ivory, which is for Mastodon. I don't use any other social platforms. I do have Blue Sky. But it was just all politics and yeah, I just didn't like the app. So that's gone now. Um, Jetpack, that's for updating my blog. So um, it pretty much, I would say 80% of what's on my blog comes from that app. Next up is books. Started to listen to audiobooks quite a bit now. I'm also reading on the iPad. So I'm using books for that. Finch is a new app that I've been using for the last couple of months, I guess, that my daughter introduced me to. This is kind of a habit tracker, but kind of gamified in a way that I find quite engaging. Um, I'm using it just for keep, keeping track of simple 
kind of things like making sure I go out for a walk or, you know, meditation when I remember. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's free. There is a plus kind of membership, but you don't need to pay to, to use the app. Um, and you kind of have a little character, little bird character that you can customize and evolve as you go through your kind of day and your journal, your, your journey through through your habit tracking and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's fun. I, I quite like it. I didn't think to be that engaged with it, but it's actually got me doing stuff, which is good. Um, Net Newswire, that's my RSS reader of choice. I've tried Reader, R-E-E-D-E-R in the past, but Net Newswire for me is just super reliable and I use it across all of my um, different di different um, platforms so Mac OS, iPad OS and, and iOS then in my dock I've got the uh, messages app the mail app I just use the standard Apple mail app things three which is my um, you know my, my to-do app kind of floating between there and paper at the moment but Things work better for me digitally, so I don't lose stuff, and I've, I've, I've always got it with me. And then I always have the camera in the bottom right. It's just something I've always had in my in my phone setups. I know I can do it from the lock screen, or I know I can use it on the action button, so it's probably... I could probably get away with not having it on there anymore, given I use the action button on the iPhone so much. But yeah, that's my, that's my first screen, and you can see the wallpaper is still poking through. I don't like to... To blur it i like having the wallpaper in the background so yeah this is two page setup um this is my first page okay so moving on to the second page now this is the last page i have with anything on it um after that point it's just the app library so i have settings because i'm in there quite a lot i have the Leica app this is something that i've not really used that much but it's just there as a reminder to actually use it i've got the apple store app there um, not something I use a huge amount, but I've got two stores within kind of half an hour of myself, of, of where I live. So if I'm out and about, I happen to pop in one. It's always nice having it quick. If I do end up getting anything, uh, my permit is a way to pay for car parking here in the UK. It's quite a good app. You, you, you park up, you search for the car park that you're in, and then you can just you know, select a duration that you stay and then you just pay through Apple Pay. So that works quite well. Um, you can see I have the batteries widget there as well, rather than showing the battery, um, you know, in the top top right, instead of me showing that percentage up there all the time. Pocket is, um, is it, it's, a, it, it's a drawing app. I don't use it a huge amount, but um, it's something just to doodle on every now and again. Obviously got the app store there, maps. Sky Guide is one I use to look where stuff is in the night sky. I like, um, well, when we have clear skies here in the UK, um, I like looking up and, and you know, my night photography and things. So it's always good to, to see where things are. Merlin Bird ID is a fairly new one for me. This is one that um, you can basically give it access to your microphone and then it analyzes bird song and it tells you what's currently in your location. It's been really handy actually, and you know, for, for figuring out what's out and about in the garden. Um, Photometer is a photo editing app, probably the best one, in my opinion. Um, I use it across my Mac, iPad and iPhone. I think, I think it's amazing. Um, Wallaroo is a wallpaper app by the guys at Icon Factory. Something that I got a um, a year's membership when I signed on to the Kickstarter for Tapestry, the Tapestry application. Um, yeah, it's good. There's some good wallpapers in there. I, I quite enjoy using it. Um, Unsplash is a it's a link. Well, their app is a link into their photo sharing site, so you can you know share photos and and they get used across. They they get used for free basically across other platforms, um, royalty free. I like browsing in there and downloading wallpapers. I do occasionally upload my, my own stuff there. Sunsama is an application I'm actually testing. I'll leave it in for this podcast because I can come back to let you know if I'm getting on with it okay or, or if I've to. I haven't even really tested it yet, to be honest. But 
it's something that I'm struggle I struggle with a lot is just keeping on top of things, remembering to do things. I get very easily distracted. Uh, my focus isn't amazing, so um, any sort of apps that are able to combine my calendar, my to dos, and help me kind of block time in my calendar and and help me to do things is it, they're all really really useful. So this is one that I'll be testing and and, and I'll report back on for you. Okay, so that's my fairly simple setup. Um, this podcast is something that I'm going to try and keep going. Like I said, um, with my projects, I tend to fall off them after a while, but I I, I want to keep this one going. It, it's, it's, it'll be good for me to do some more creative things. So this is the relaunch, I'll call it. Um, I did record probably, I want to say four or five before it all fell away. Um, I'm going to be doing these pretty loose I guess probably the best word they're not really scripted it's just going to be off the cuff kind of conversations with people going through their home screens like I said apps favorite apps tips things like that for me I, I like I said I like to keep my stuff simple I don't over complicate things it's hard enough for me just to remember what to do in the day to be honest sometimes so um this is it for me this is it for the relaunch I hope you've enjoyed this um if you have any suggestions of guests or if you'd like to come on please go to my blog which is ljpuk.net and then just there's a contact form if you contact me through there or if you're already a, you know already a friend on social media anywhere then just drop me a note and then I can add you to the list I've got like I said I've got um two or th two maybe three at the moment and I'm still not sure about the frequency it is it all going to depend on you know availability of everybody so Keeping this informal for now, <clears throat> not a huge amount of editing. I wanted to keep it very straightforward and to keep this going, get it going, just to remove as many complications as I can. So again, thanks for listening. Um, I'm going to put links in the description for everything. Uh, like I said, you can see me over at my blog at ljpuk.net. Um, all my links are there rather than share everything here on the podcast to take up more of your time appreciate everybody that's subscribing or listening and i'll speak to you soon